alongside Kurt Busch, Bill Elliott is a NASCAR veteran. He's seen the motorhome phenomenon evolve and grow. I guess it was kind of the mid-90s when all this kind of got started. And the, the racetracks weren't motorhome capable inside, like for the drivers and the car owners. But over the last number of years, the, the, all the racetracks is catered to the motorhomes. They built areas in each of the facilities where we can go in and plug up and have things. And you know, it's great for the family. Look for Bill's fiery red car. The only commuting Bill Elliott does is from the pits to the track. You know, I was here years ago when you had to stay at a hotel. And the problem with that is you had to get up so early to beat the traffic in. And normally if you worked on a race car, you had to be here real early anyway. So this has kind of made it, you know, for the family, you know, they can kind of, you know, I can leave, they can sleep in. If I've got things to do, you know, then I can come back and I've got a place to hang out or relax and kind of get away from the hustle and bustle in the garage area. So for me, it, you know, it's a great deal. The man known as Awesome Bill from Dawsonville is a family man. His home away from home sweet home costs close to $1.3 million. Marathon built the home to Bill's specifications. He wanted more family and entertainment space in the bedroom and salon. The mandate was simple, make it look like home, make it feel like home. Obviously it's a living room area. I mean, this is where you do, you know, most of the entertaining. I've guests here during the race. They can come in and watch a race in here. I've uh, got lots of room. I've enjoyed it. I've had this bus a um, little better than three years, and uh, it's served me well. And he's not done yet. I want to update here pretty quick. The thing of it is, until I get enough stuff that I feel like is worth it, but I mean, they do a great job. They build a great bus, and uh, we've had great service with it. And from our standpoint, we got to have something we get in here and, and not have a bunch of problems with, because we, you know, we live in it. He's not kidding either. 38 weekends a year, every year. A traveling NASCAR roadshow that takes the Elliots all over the United States. UBOs. UBOs. <laughs> I don't think you're going to win. Well, you basically stay in it as much as you stay at home. So, you know, for us, it's. It makes a lot of sense to have it here and have all our conveniences here. You know, if you have a, you know, like I got a little boy, Chase, if he gets sick or has a little problem, you know, you got everything on the motorhome here that, that you can take care of. You know, if you're feeling bad or whatever, it ain't like you got to drag yourself out and go somewhere and, and, you know, from a hotel room and try to get something. Bummer, dude. Looks like you lost that one. Bill Elliott's seen a lot of change in his career. NASCAR now pulls millions of viewers and draws hundreds of thousands to the track. Having a fully equipped motorhome goes with the territory. Like in the late 80s, early 90s, you didn't have to worry about some of the traffic jams you got today getting in and out of these places. So, you know, it wasn't too bad staying at a hotel room. But today, you know, the, the traffic's so horrendous, you've got big crowds at the racetrack, so that brings all this even closer together. Like father, like son, Chase Elliott is already racing. He might follow Dad's brilliant career. October, he ran three, three go-kart races and he won two of them. So he's got two trophies and 50 bucks. He's way ahead of me. <laughs> Who's my favorite driver? Mm. You. <laughs>